Good evening, good evening. MIB Master here. We are back with another oldie but goodie classic from the early 2000s. This is the Adventure Team, another Adventure Team with that iconic Kung Fu Grip logo. This is Search for the Yeti. Search for the Yeti. And this was uh, based off of uh, another old classic uh, Adventure Team set. Uh, retro sh set from the 70s. Let's get in. Get right into it, guys. As you can see this is a... Uh, he's got his iconic Adventure Team logo. Um, beautifully done. Got his camera there. Snow boots. Dangerous snow boots. <laughs> the selling point on this set was the Yeti himself. Um, a phenomenal, phenomenal job by Hasbro on the Yeti. The likeness just the texture to fur and unlike most sets that the Venture teams made the antagonist or the villain of the set was smaller than G.I. Joe this is a classic right here is that they actually made the Yeti actual size even bigger than Joe and you can see all of his equipment is grappling tool there for digging through the ice his gun which I can't give you a great shot of it because it's he's got it nicely embedded into the Yeti <laughs> which I guess he should have at this point. He's in trouble. <laughs> Great action scene the way they, they pose these guys. Posing these guys inside these boxes. Once again, it's just... You're walking into a toy store and you see this set sitting on a toy, toy store shelf. And it's, 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 it's pure adrenaline. It's pure magic. Uh, for us adult collectors we turn right back into kids and that's that's what it's all about that's what it's all about this was a uh, a set that didn't stay out very long you can uh, find these guys I'm, I'm sure you can find these guys on Amazon eBay uh, they're gonna want some money for these guys I don't think they're super uh, rare um, you can find them once again, you can go to Cosmo Collectibles. Uh, there's uh, Entertainment Earth. There's a lot of uh, uh, online uh, websites that, you know, stores that you can can look around. Uh, locating them, though, is a just, it's, it's, it's a different story. Um, those are your best bets, though, to try to find some of these guys, unless you can, you, you know, some collectors that might have these guys uh, in their collections that they'd be, be willing to part with them for the right amount of money. Let's uh, take a closer look at the top here. Search for the Yeti. Equipment list there. Superposable G.I. Joe. I talked about that superposable G.I. Joe figure and a few other reviews, past reviews. That was a big deal. The Joe was uh, more articulate. He could, uh, you could uh, pose him even better than before you know he had more movable joints this set is loaded with uh, accessories uh, the biggest accessory is the Yeti <laughs> I mean it's I can't tell you uh, how cool this guy is I mean super duper duper super cool 
Um, I would never part with this guy. That's how cool he is to me. The G.I. Joe Collectors Club actually has a brown version of the Yeti. And it's a play set uh, that they sold, I believe, at um, maybe the 2013, 2014, um, maybe even earlier than that, 2011, 2010. Uh, G.I. Joe convention and uh, that's a set that I'm that definitely costs about three four hundred dollars uh, right now it's gonna cost maybe twice that if you're lucky enough to find that I've been I've been chasing that's a set that I've been chasing for a long time and if I get some more information on that I'll share it with you guys or if anybody has any information on that uh, I know where you can get that from a for a decent price by all means, let me know. <laughs> so let's turn this guy around. Um, let's get it. Here's a cool. This is what they should have done. I think make cool posters of these guys. Here's an action sequence of the Yeti and the and Joe going at it. Doesn't get any better than that. You can't beat it. Let's turn it around. The artwork on this is just phenomenal just phenomenal and it gives you the a breakdown of the original here's the original abominable snowman a search for the abominable snowman and that's a let's get in a little classic a little closer on that and which is kind of cool and then they give you the new version Give you a nice storyline, Himalayas. Good storyline. Once again, 3D comic books. That's what I consider these these boxes to be. All right, versions of this 3D, three-dimensional comic books, and the artwork was phenomenal. Look at that Yeti. I mean, just vicious. Vicious, and there's Joe in all his glory right there, ready to go to war. Uh, I don't think his, he's searching at this point. I don't think they're beyond that point now. Joe's going to have to handle his business on this one. The iconic Adventure Team logo at the bottom. This is a 2002 set. That's the back. Really cool. Awesome. But just awesome. Really, really awesome. And let's give you a close up again of the two stars of the show here the Yeti, the G.I. Joe. Let's see if we can get in there. Once again, lifelike hair, lifelike beard. All the venture team guys came with it. We call them the fuzzy heads. The life like hair was really the, the just the really cool part. Uh, added addition of the GI Joes. Kung Fu grip hands. Super awesome Kung Fu grip hands. They could just hold things a lot better, weapons, tools, you know, etc. But once again, the star of the show is clearly, clearly the Yeti. This guy alone was quite possibly the biggest attraction as far as I'm concerned. I mean, I would buy this guy if he came by himself. So... With that being said, get you a pan out view here. Thanks for stopping by. As always, thanks for the love and support. And keep collecting.